International Institute of Cosmetology graduating class of 2021, congratulations and welcome to the industry. How you doing graduates? My name is Philip Wolf. That's at Philip Wolf Hair on social media. Now I first like to thank the whole entire IIC family and of course Tina for reaching out. I am beyond honored to be speaking with you all today. The graduates. Okay, it was just a few short years ago, back in 2019, I had the most amazing opportunity to fly out to Plainville and teach some education. Now, it was one of my most memorable moments that year because the energy in that room Yeah, it was electric. And let me tell you, it reminded me of back when I first started in this industry. I ended up learning through an apprenticeship that changed my life. I was introduced to a world that I didn't even know existed. And once I got a taste of that, I knew I had to be a part of it, or at least give it my best shot. See, for me, it was my chance to dip into my creative side work with my hands, be as expressive as I wanted to be, connect with others both individually and in groups, and most importantly, learn. And I think that's the key word here is learn, because what you all have been doing for the better part of a year now is learn to prepare yourself to really learn. You know, one of the most unique things about this industry is there's not just one clear route to take. There's nothing mapped out for you. You graduate from school, you get your license, and then it's, it's all up to you. That can be scary, but yet there's a beauty in that too, because there's so many paths, avenues, areas to learn from, places you could end up in this industry that you had no idea. And you know what? There's absolutely no wrong or right either. You could easily go down this path for a while, make a hard left, go down that path, make a U-turn, come back around, and oh, wait a minute, I didn't even know that one existed. Let me see what's going down there. That is the beauty of this. And let me just say, all of those little experiences, all of those gigs, the jobs, all will come together, and ultimately, that will form who you will become. Remember, the more you put in, the more you're gonna get out. It's really that simple. Also, something that's a little bit different on how you all are growing up in this industry and how I did, is you all are here during the digital age. Everything's digital. And it can be very, very overwhelming. But what I have to say here is, yes, social media can be very focused on imagery and video and this, which is very important and a very important aspect of your marketing. But what I will say is, these are some of the most important times of your career, arguably the most. What do I mean by that? Your first couple years is truly what is going to be the foundation of the future of your career. So for example, down to the simple things, your habits, how you hold your tools, how you decide to section how you blow dry, how you cut color, all these techniques, don't really worry about rushing. Right now is your time to do things slow, take it in, build those habits correctly now so that later you don't have to correct them. You know, once things become muscle memory and repetitive motion becomes second nature, it is so much harder to break that and to correct those after you've already been used to doing it a certain way. So I would say definitely concentrate and focus on doing things slower and the best of your ability at your pace. There is no right or wrong pace. The pace is your pace. So remember, exercise great technique now and speed will just naturally come later. These first few years are also your opportunity and the best time to make mistakes. Yeah, almost have to make mistakes in order to grow and go to those next levels. You know, I'll remember when I first started, I was so afraid of making mistakes or messing up someone's hair. And I don't know what happened, but what I realized as time went on, I really wasn't growing. I was staying safe, but I wasn't growing. 
And then one day I woke up, I don't actually, I don't even know what happened, but one day I woke up and I thought, I have to do this now or it's never gonna happen. So I started taking chances. And when you take those chances, sure, it's a risk. But you know what? We all have friends and family that'll love you no matter what, right? Plus there's mannequins out there that won't yell back at you or complain. Believe it or not, my first day on the job, I was actually brought to a hair show. My boss at the time said, you don't really know anything about this industry, so what a better way than to show you right off the bat. And it just so happened that weekend was a hair show, so I went and that's when I was really blown away. Now I had the opportunity to meet some amazing, relevant people at that time. Of course, I didn't know who they were at the moment because I didn't know anything about the industry. But there are a few things that were shared to me and one was this. I was told, make sure you find your cause. What is your cause? Find your passion. You know, you may think you know what that is today, but believe me, over time, that can definitely change. As a matter of fact, it can change drastically based on what you end up learning as you go. But follow your cause and the money will follow. Chase the money and you will have lost your cause. That's what was told to me. And that couldn't be more true. It's one of those weird, unexplainable things. Okay, and in closing, I'm gonna leave you with this. If there's only one thing you remember, I hope it's this. It was told to me early on, and I'm naturally going to leave it with you. Always stay involved in education. Now, that doesn't mean you gotta take a class every month. It doesn't mean you have to become an educator. No, this can come in many forms. All I really mean is maintain investing in yourself. Education is what got you to this point. Education is what's gonna help you bring to the next level. And education is also gonna help you sustain and excel and continually evolve in your career. Now, a great way to do that would be, you can simply watch some YouTube videos. You can go and take a class. You could go to one of your favorite hairstylist websites and download some videos, some of their education. You could go collaborate with a friend, go hang out at a friend's shop, watch a fellow hairstylist do hair one day in the shop when you're not busy. It could come from anywhere. The point is, is trying to maintain a healthy amount of inspiration and to keep your creative juices flowing is such an important thing. I myself, several years ago, came to a point in my career where, sure, I was making very decent money. I was in a great spot location-wise. I had a great clientele. But at that time, I was not involved in any education. I hadn't even seen or done a class in so long and I started to forget. I started to forget that fire, you know, that very fire that I felt when I walked into the IIC for the first time and met the students there. And all it takes sometimes is a quick little boom to re-spark that feeling again. So I'll ask you all, that excitement that you all feel now, never forget that because that's what got you here and that's what's going to keep you alive and thriving through the rest of your career. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me. And just remember this, as important as it is for us to evolve into individual artists in this industry, let's not forget that we are all connected and we all are a reflection of each other. This is a huge global industry, one of the biggest in the world. And we do something special. We put smiles on people's faces. We create experiences for people and you have the potential to change people's lives. I was told our mission, if anything else, is to leave this industry better than we found it. And a part of that is to truly absorb everything this industry has to offer and then when it comes time and you'll know when it's time it'll be time for you to give back to people around you to others you may not even know putting it out there in the ether and it's all a cycle and it feeds and helps and nourishes this ever-changing 
and evolving industry. Well, that's what I have for you this evening. And I just wanted to say thanks again for having me speak. I am so happy and truly pumped for each and every one of you. You are truly at the beginning of something very, very special. You all have a very bright future ahead of you. And you're in a time right now where you have access to more hair and beauty content than ever in the history of mankind. Now, get out there and kick some ass.